The good news is we got Tiny Tina's Wonderlands working on Steam Deck. The bad news is there's a few points that will really trip you up, so we'll cover those in a minute. Otherwise, first off, you may notice that we are running in desktop mode, which means we have no Steam overlay. Fortunately, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands has the FPS counter available in game, so you can see the FPS in the top right. Although it did play on high and you probably would be able to play okay at 30 frames per second, this game really does lend itself to some very fast movement. So pushing closer to 60 is much more comfortable, so medium settings was the best way to do that here. And I mean medium all round, not a combination of medium and high. You can probably drop a couple more down to low without much detriment to the actual quality to hold a more steady 60 frames per second. But all on medium felt pretty good here and the input latency was pretty much non-existent here as well. So as you can see it's looking and playing absolutely fantastic on full medium and pushing 50 to 60 frames per second in the combat. Okay so on to some of the issues. First off yes you do need to run it on desktop mode. Running this via Epic Games Launcher via the install method or even via Heroic Games Launcher in game mode will cause you to reset your game every load and kind of corrupts the install files as well so it really does make the experience very annoying. The other issue is that as you'll see here in the startup sequence especially for the first launch it will tie to the Epic Games site to link your account. Now if you're not in desktop mode this browser does not appear which means you can't link your account. I've already logged in, so this is just linking the account as it's remembered the cookie from my first authentication. You will also want to have a keyboard handy in case this doesn't show, and instead it hangs on the Tiny Tina screen like this. Like it hangs on the Tiny Tina Wonderland screen like that. Then you need to be able to Alt-Tab because the browser has popped up, it's just not brought it to the foreground. So you can then Alt-Tab to it accept it and log in. Now the other issue is with Heroic Games Launcher, if you use the Proton Experimental, none of the cutscenes will work and you need to skip them, otherwise it will crash the game out. However, if you use GE Proton 14, which is the one that I use here, everything does work. However, if you do launch it by game mode by accident, it will wipe it out. When you load up, you'll get the acceptance again and your character won't be there. So if that happens, what you need to do is go into the Heroic Games Launcher and repair the game in there. So make sure you run the game from the Heroic Games Launcher in desktop mode, running Proton 714, and you will have a great experience and you won't lose your character. The other point to note though is Cloud Save is not working, or Cloud Sync does not seem to work with this version and Heroic Games Launcher, so whatever you play will be only local on your Steam Deck. Otherwise though, it does play absolutely fantastic. I was getting a bit of jitter here, but I think that's because I am using the USB-C hub and also my Steam Deck is due a reboot. Tiny Tina's Wonderland is probably one of my favorite games to play at the moment. I am a Borderlands 3 fan, so it is a great follow-on. Let us know in the comments below if there's a game that you guys are looking out for and we'll see if we can cover it if it's in our library. I'll leave you with a bit more of the footage here without me talking. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.